All right, so today's a pretty cool day as I just got my first welder. It's a Tulium TL200M. That means it has an output current of 200 amps, which will give me the capabilities of doing arc welding, MIG welding with either solid core or flux core, and TIG welding. One of the main reasons why I got this unit is because it can run on 120 and 240. Now I initially planned to run it on 120, but found out that I actually had a 240 uh, breaker in my shop. So I'm gonna run it to that. Of course, as you, you might know, or you could assume, equipment tends to run better, especially this kind of equipment tends to run better. You can get more performance out of a out of um, higher voltage uh, input. But one of the other things that you can get out of that is a lower current rate. And that's mainly why I'm doing this. So one reason why I'm using the 240 is because the breaker is already there. The next reason is that the um, power consumption uh, is less. So for this unit, using 240 it only consumes about 24 amps RMS. Whereas if I was to use 120, it would consume about 42 amps RMS. At least that's what it's rated for. Now I've read many reviews in which people are saying that they use it, they've used it on a 20 amp circuit breaker and there has been no issue. You know, which I don't doubt that's kind of what it was built for. This is kind of like a you know, a DIY or, you know, um, repair kind of unit uh, that's made to be used, you know, in and out of a field or outside or in a house or a shop. It's just something really simple and, and mobile, right? So it's made to run on on lower current. Um, it's also an IGBT circuit in there, which kind of ties into um, electronics. So maybe that'll be something that I'll review um, later on, and we'll talk about how welders have gotten so small and why they gotten so small. That's one of the reasons, one of the primary reasons is uh, semiconductor technology and um, the ability that we have to um, produce such high currents with, um, with certain transistors like the, the IGPT transistors, of which many, many welders now are based on, almost all welders now are based on uh, IGBT uh, inverters. So we might take a look at that technology later on uh, and um, explain what's going on here and how um, that's really um, changed, changed the welding world uh, in making smaller and more efficient units. So this unit actually is, is very affordable and it's very, um, <coughs> it's very efficient. So it has a duty cycle of, 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 of 60, you know, which is, is just, is just great, you know? Uh, so that means for, for six minutes, you can use it for six minutes and only need um, four minutes of rest is what that essentially means. So it has a great duty cycle um, and that's at 200 amps, I believe. So I really, if you run it at 166 amps, you can run 100 percent, you know, so it doesn't need to rest. So doing flux core, which is mainly what I got it for, at least that's what I'm going to start on is using is using the MIG setup and um, doing uh, flux core. So that's gasless, right? So you have the option of doing gasless or you can do gas and use solid core. I'm doing gasless flux core. Uh, it's rated to do that about 166 amps. So we could do that at 100%, which is, which is great. Um, it's advised that that's a good place to start when um, beginning to weld. It's one of the simpler forms of welding. So I'm going to try it out. Um, also, the, the welds don't seem to come out that bad. With with uh, flux core, you do get slag, so you have to clean it off after you're done. And it's kind of shiny. It kind of resembles a little bit of a kind of, it looks kind of like solder, you know. So it might not be too far from where I'm from, you know, what I'm comfortable with. Of course, I've been soldering all my life, but haven't been welding. So this will kind of be um, a cool new thing. So I've just got a little unboxing video. Um, that shows the process of me setting up the welder. I haven't used it yet because I don't have a mask yet or clothing, so I have a mask and some clothing coming tomorrow. So sometime during later this week, I'll, I'll be um, tooling around with it and laying my first beads, which will be pretty cool. 
Uh, but I just um, have a little short video of me um, unboxing and and setting up the um, 240 circuit. You know, so again, you know, it uses less power on the 240 and it'll run more efficiently. And uh, there's less likelihood that I'll trip a breaker on a 240 because it's going to use less current. So that's why I did it. So it's not quite music or music electronics, but it's still pretty cool. And like I said, there's actually um, some advantage and knowledge to be gained here, uh, being that uh, there's some interesting things going on with semiconductor technology as it pertains to the world of welding with IGBT transistors. So take a look and uh, there will be some pretty cool projects coming up later on uh, pertaining to this welder. All right. Thanks.